Uh, today was definitely a rust buster. This was our first meet in over a month, uh, and it definitely showed on a couple of ends today. But it was a good one to get kind of out the way this time of the year. You know, we always have one meet that we got to shake it off, and so today was a good day that we had to do that. Yeah, uh, the throws went really, really well today. Uh, starting off with the weight throwers, they all hit PRs today. Lauren Diosis hit a PR by almost a meter. Uh, then we had Ari Angerman hit another PR today by .14. And then Curtis came out and almost hit a PR in the weight throw by a meter as well. And then going over to the shot put today, Danica had a huge throw of 1382. That ended up winning the meet today out of all divisions, one, two, and three. So that was pretty impressive for her. And then the nice thing about that throw, it's probably going to put her in the top five after this weekend. So it looks like she's booked herself a trip out to nationals. Yeah, Devontae did a real good job today in his heats. Uh, he really came out to compete. You know, again, it's been a while since we've been able to get some work done. And for him to go out there and really compete and put down those times, I was pretty happy with the performance. So today, I think that was the biggest thing. It was a real eye-opener. You know, we really threw him to the Wolves today. You know, everyone here is a, pretty much a Division One team. And we were maybe two of one of two Division Three teams here. So that was, that was a tough competition for us today. And I think they kind of got their eyes awoke a little bit of what it takes to compete at the next level. Yeah, today was kind of a landmark day in terms of where we've been at. You know, we had the opportunity to stop by the 9-11 Memorial today. You know, it was an emotional experience, uh, you know, especially for our coaching staff. You know, a lot of us, you know, we remember where we were at at that time. And then for our kids, you know, they are younger. They're only maybe three or four years old. But, you know, it's just for able to see that history for them and kind of understand and learn that. And then moving over here to the Armory today, I mean, this place is God only knows who, how old it is. But to be here in this venue, you look around and you see that you – uh, everyone around, the atmosphere, the music playing, you know, it, it gives the kids the jitters a little bit as well.